Hello guys, I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to use the editor in Cybernet because there's pretty much zero tutorials who actually they actually explain how to use it. So I thought I'd just, uh, after spending hours learning how to do it, I thought I'd make one. I'm going to teach you guys how to make your first, uh, how to make your first program that's gonna auto hack things, it's an automation one, and just to help like get you started. I just got this one right here. So the first thing you always need to do, it's always gonna go in this order, is even with these, but right now we're focusing on just hacking these, uh, you scan your device. Sometimes it fails. After you scan your de device, you hack it. Um, because hacking it gives you the password, you log in with the password, and then you're able to steal. So the first thing you need to understand about these is the sections. There's mul multiple sections, uh, those are these top emoji things, and each one has a different purpose. Like these are like your statistics, like if it's true or false, can you steal it? Is it an NPC? Like it, it gives you like like context. What's their CPU? Uh, the next one is like defense. This is like uh, defending against like people trying to hack you. If you want to make uh, any sort of defense like that, I haven't yet. Uh, the next one is like exploits. Um, these are like if a if something has a firewall, this is how you get around it. The next one would be like your logic, I would say, that could best describe it. Like you have your if commands, like your loops, end, delays, uh, starts, your logic slash events, I would say. Uh, and the next one is the purple, which is like your rat installing backdoors. I haven't really messed around with the, this one yet. Um, the next one is just, yeah, it's very self-explanatory. This one is math. I don't use it that much. You know, because I'm stuck at math. Then there's your actions. Between logic and actions, uh, they're like my most used ones. So yeah, these are your actions. Uh, like login, hack, scan. So first we're gonna start with a start. Right now we're gonna make something that looks a little bit like this. It's just a simple hack. So if we go into start here, we're gonna start with scan because that's always how you do it. The white boxes are your like execution boxes. These uh, purple are usually conditions. Green is like a target. Uh, and what I mean by target is that you need for pretty much everything you need something like a context which is a data because this uh tells you whenever you click on something to run your program this is what tells i'll put that below this is what tells this what to scan so you have to tell it what to scan but you know scanning and hacking those two things have a chance to fail so you have to have some logic to where if it does fail with you need if in a merge so you're not actually going to connect both of these together you need to connect pretty much what the merge does it takes multiple inputs into one output so if any of these is triggered it'll output this so pretty much you have this right so once you start it it's going to go into here which is then going to scan after you do that you need the if one so we, cause we need to know if it's going to be successful. So we have something like this. So if it's successful, this is pretty much saying if it's successful, if this game is successful, we're going to move on. If it's not successful, you can drag that over there and it'll restart. So it's pretty much is going to do scan it until it's successful. So after you scan it, you then move to, cause you have to move to the item. And you also have to press network you have to like the green is like the targets so you have to let it know what it's gonna attack 
uh, and then you press so if it is successful which is true and you press move to now since moving to something can't ever fail you just go straight into hack which hacking stuff can fail I'll just move this down here so what you want to do you're going to pretty much want to copy this entire setup by right clicking duplicating adding this as a merge <laughs> and then pretty much going to do the exact same thing you did with scan but with hack so this powers this you execute the if command and if the hack is successful if the hack is uh, if a hack isn't successful which is false you restart if it is successful after you go to hack you then go to login because that's the next step because then you get the password but so <laughs> the next thing is the blue dots those are usually informational so to log in you need to connect these two so it knows which what the access code is connect the target the next one so if it is successful it'll commit to the login then your last step is going to be if I can find it steal <laughs> always make sure you set the target because without the target it won't do anything now even though it says login success or fail um, it can't actually fail I've never had logging into something fail maybe it does I don't know then you're gonna want to add the end because you always have to have a start and an end to your command all right so pretty much this is your finished command our program so once you're done with that you go to networks now instead of having to manually do all that you go into here you right click it you press run you, you hover over run and you uh, click starter program as you can see it failed the scan failed so it redid it just act logged in and install that was really fast next episode i will teach you guys how to deal with firewalls and how to do like more automation like moving to stuff because as you see the military base has a firewall thank you guys for watching goodbye